Now let us consider this example and with this example we will try to explain the uniform cost search. So assuming that this is the state space which they have given and we have to start with the start state. So obviously you can clearly see that we are maintaining two sets here. One is a set which is related to the closed and second set is related to the open and there is a cost set which will tell what is the cost of every node like this. Okay. Now what will happen here? So initially we are maintaining a list like this this is a list which is the list of open and we are going to maintain a list of closed items it is representing the list of closed and with every item we are going to associate the cost we are going to associate a cost so initially here you can see we start with the start vertex x s you can see we started with the start vertex vertex or uh, you can say start state s so this is the start state s and the cost for the start state s is assuming zero so this cost we have already taken here okay now how we are performing this open and closed how this uh, everything is working so go to steps to fail if open is equal to empty open is not is em not empty so this step 2 will not be executed now in the step 3 we are saying select a minimum cost state n from open and save n in clo closed so you can see open is currently having only one state that is s so because open is currently having only one state s so we are going to take this s and we are going to save this s in case of closed so let me assume that this is how we are representing it uh, and this is how the time is going on so we are going to take s and we are going to store this s inside the closed now next time the open will look something like this uh, if n is a goal set then terminate with success this s is not a goal set so we are not terminating then expand generate the success of n using o and what are the successors of s success of successors of s are b and d there are, these are two successors if those successors are not present in open or closed you can see this b and d they are neither present here or they are not also present they are not present here then set the cost of each successor from the cost of open and insert in the this open insert in open okay so you can see the what are the successors of s successors of s are b and d so we are going to insert d here and the cost of d will become 0 plus 6 so cost of d will become 6 and the cost of b will become 5 okay so we are going to insert them in open now this will not exit again we go back to the step 2 after this so after this i just missed one part where i have to write loop that is go back to step 2 uh, go to step 2 after this okay so which we have already written all the cases so again open is not empty then we execute this one select as minimum cost state from this open so what is the minimum cost state after these two minimum cost state is 5 b which is having cost as 5 then uh, save that state inside the closed so the next time we are going to store this s0 and b5 inside the closed now this open is containing d with 6 now if this b is a uh, goal state and terminate with success you can see b is not a goal state then generate the successors of b the successors of b are e and c both e and c are neither present in open nor they are present in closed therefore we have to put we have to insert this b and c inside open and we have to update their cost so this for c the cost will be 5 plus 1 that means because the parent of b is s and the till b the cost of b is 5 so we just add that cost so this is saying that we already know the cost till b now we have to add the cost from b to c okay by the way how do we maintain the parent of a node you can maintain the parent of a node by using a pointer okay that we could have used in the previous case so here we are seeing this uh, b and we are going to take the b and uh, we are going to add uh, the success successors of b the successors are c and e so the cost from b to e will be uh, this e will be total with the cost of 5 plus 2 is 7 and for c the cost will be 6 now you can see there are two nodes which are having the same cost d and c both of them are having the same cost now in this particular case you can choose any one of the following nodes this there is uh, no limitation about choosing the number of nodes you can choose any one of the following nodes 
okay so assuming that we are choosing here d okay just for simplicity that means you are, you are choosing d so next time if you are choosing d because after this again we will go back to step 2 and then again we are selecting the minimum so choosing d that means you are going to put d inside this closed so in closed we are having these three items now to take all the successors of d the successors of d are e and g so you are going to put e and g inside this open so in open we will be having e with 7 c with 6 but you can see the successors of d is also e so if you go through d to e then the total cost will be 6 plus 5 which is equal to 11 but already known cost is 7 so you can see this e is already present here so e is already present but the cost is not less so cost is not decreased right so because the minimum is 7 so cost is not decreased so we are not going to update it and the next one is g so you are going to update g with the cost which is 7 uh, 6 plus 5 which is equal to 11 now you can see g is a goal street g is a goal street now this is interesting so even if g is a goal street and you can see g is now present in open but still we are not going to choose b that it may happen maybe in future we may find a better cost for g because even if g is a goal street further you are again go to, going to the step 2 and this open is not empty so again you have to choose what is the minimum uh, what is the state which is having the minimum cost from here and you have to put that state inside the closed one okay so this is by this one okay so we have the minimum cost here is for c so we are going to put this c inside this closed so it will be containing here c with cost 6 so here we have we are having e with cost 7 g with cost 11 now we are having c with cost 6 so c from C to F because successors of C is only F from C to F the cost is uh, 6 plus 3 which is 9 so we are going to put uh, F and the cost will be 9 now from here now from here again you have to perform the same operation find the state which is having the minimum cost ok so the minimum cost is with E so we are going to take this E you are going to put this E inside the close, closed. So close will be containing S0, B5, D6, C6 and E7. Now after this E7, we are having G with 11, F with 9 and for this E, the successors of E are only G. There is only one successor of E. From E to G, the cost, is, cost will be now 7 plus 3 is 10 but g is already present here so you can see this statement will be executed now which will say if g is already present in open or closed g is already present in open now we are going to set the cost for g and the cost for g will be minimum of both the cost that is already known cost and the newly founded cost the already known cost is 11 and the newly founded cost from e is 7 plus 3 as 10 and now this 10 is better as compared to 11 so if the cost is decreased then you have to move it you have to update the cost so g will now be updated to the cost which is 10 okay and if g was present in closed then you have to move this g to open but still g is already present this we don't have any problem further again you have to explore the cost explore the node which is having the minimum cost the minimum cost is with f of 9 so f is having the minimum cost now you are going to take this f you are going to put this f inside this closed state so we have s of 0 b with 5 d with 6 c with 6 e with 7 and we'll be having f with 9 the cost of f will be 9 from f to h there is uh, we have f to h and we have f to g so uh, we have to put both the successors here so from f the cost in f is 9 and from f to g 9 plus 7 will be uh, 16 but g is already having the cost which is 10 so we are not going to update g g will be still be having cost which is 10 now from f to h the cost will be 9 plus 1 is 10 from f to h the cost will be uh, 10 now we have g and h both are having the same cost now you can cho choose any one of them so assuming that here we are choosing g because if even if you are choosing h then from h you will be having a cost to g and that cost will be 10 plus 1 as 11 but already known cost is 
10. So we are not actually choosing 10 with the, that we already know that is our understanding but still your algorithm may explore any one of them. So assuming that I am exploring G. So I am going to take G. I am going to put G here in the closed. So if you have S of 0, B of 5, D of 6, C of 6, E with 7, F with 9 and we are going to take G with 10 and this is N now. Now it is saying if n is a goal state then terminate with success now because n is a if g is a goal state so we are going to terminate with success terminate with success therefore we found the the goal state that means the goal state is present here we found the goal state as well as we found out that this is the minimum cost so we optimized the solution so this is how this algorithm which is uniform cost search is working so i hope uh, you will be able to understand this this one so if you face any issues in this any doubts in this just let me know i'll uh, make few more examples for this one right now so i have i hope this much is um, enough to understand this one so you can pause the video try and rewind the video and let us uh, discuss about this in more detail now okay